In this video, we're going to look at how we can find the slope of a line from the graph. If you recall, slope is a measure of the steepness of a line from left to right. If the line goes uphill from left to right, it will have a positive slope. And if a line goes downhill from left to right, it will have a negative slope. Also, the quicker it goes up or the quicker it goes down means the larger the number we will use to represent the slope. One way you can think about this is if we have a man starting on the left side walking across this line. Notice this man is going downhill, so we probably will have a negative slope. Let's see what happens. Slope, which we use to represent the letter M, is the rise, or how far up the graph goes, over the run, or how far to the right the graph goes. We do this by connecting two points with a triangle. St going from left to right, we start at this first point. We must rise first and run second. Notice the rise actually went down. We can represent that down of 1, 2, 3, 4, with the rise of negative 4. Then we go to the right, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. This is a run of positive 6. So our slope will be the rise over run, or negative 4 for the rise, and 6 for the run, which reduces to negative 2 thirds. Notice this is negative like we expected, because going left to right, the slope went downhill. This means that for every two units down, the line will move three units to the right. Notice we go down two over three, and we hit the line. Down two over three, and we hit the line. Down two over three, and we hit the line. This pattern will continue all the way through the life of the line. It even works if we go backwards. Down 2 over 3, stair steps our way through the line. Let's take a look at another example where we have to calculate the slope using a slope triangle and the rise over the run. Remember, slope is the measurement of the steepness from left to right. This person's going up a pretty steep hill. You would expect this to have a positive slope. Let's see if that's the case, if slope is truly the rise over the run as a fraction. Going from left to right, starting at the first point we're given, we have to rise first and then run to the point. Rise 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 up. We'll represent this with a positive 6. We then did a run of 3 over will represent this with a positive 3. The slope is the rise over the run, or 6 over 3, which reduces to 2. We'll say the slope is 2, but when we say a slope of 2, we technically mean 2 over 1 as a fraction. Because you'll notice this line goes up 2 over 1, up 2 over 1, up 2 over 1, and continues this pattern stair-stepping all the way across. If we have the graph of the line, we can quickly eyeball two points and say how far does it rise and how far does it run to calculate the slope of the line. To check to make sure we seem accurate, in a line that goes uphill from left to right should be a positive slope, and a line that goes downhill from left to right should have a negative slope. 